have to say in regards to the Jimmy G saga that Jay in the Bay was wrong. Uh, I thought that the 49ers would be able to get maybe a first, maybe a second round pick for Jimmy G, but I was wrong. And I have to admit that. Uh, obviously, I did not know that Jimmy would get shoulder surgery so late into the offseason. Um, definitely wasn't planning on that. And I don't think John Lynch uh, and the 49ers knew that Jimmy was going to get that surgery. So he kind of sprung it on him. Um, and also, the reason I thought the 49ers would be able to get you know multiple draft picks because I thought there were so many teams that needed quarterbacks coming into this offseason. And there were. You know, Russell Wilson got traded to Denver. I thought that could be a destination for Jimmy, but obviously that was scratched off the list once they got Russell Wilson. Um, and Rodgers stayed with the Packers, so I thought that was a plus. I thought that helped Jimmy uh, because that's one less quarterback who's out there on the open market. Uh, I didn't know that the Colts would trade Carson Wentz. I mean, I thought he had a decent year. I know it was 27 touchdowns, seven interceptions. I know you guys didn't go to the playoffs. I know that was disappointing, but I was not expecting Carson Wentz to be traded, and he was traded to Washington. And I thought Washington could be a team that would be interested in Jimmy G, and sources say they were, but they were definitely turned off by the shoulder surgery. I thought the Saints would be interested in Jimmy G. I think they were. But they ended up re-signing Jameis Winston for less money, which which makes a lot of sense. And Jameis Winston, some would argue he's better than Jimmy G. Because at least Jameis Winston, he'll throw the ball down the field, or at least his his head coach trusts him to, to move the ball down the field. And we've seen Jameis do that with the Buccaneers. We've seen him do that with the Saints. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Carolina, I thought could they could still be in play for Jimmy um but you know because they have sam darnold there i mean sam darnold hasn't really proven to be a franchise quarterback but do the panthers want to take on that massive salary that that jimmy g has so carolina basically is the only option i thought there would be a sliver of a chance that maybe houston texas would be interested in jimmy but it looks like they're riding with their uh their young quarterback davis mills so i was completely wrong <laughs> in the Jimmy G uh, off-season trade scenarios. Um, so we got to talk about Jimmy G. Obviously, he had the, the off-season shoulder surgery. Um, and the, the, the 49ers brass were very surprised by this. And it, it pretty much diminished Jimmy's trade value. And, it, you know, some say Jimmy did this on purpose. He hasn't shown to be that type of person in the past with the 49ers the past what four years um so i would hate to think he would do that but you never know um and at this point there is no trade market for jimmy uh at least not until he passes a physical and we don't even know if he can pass a physical right now so at this point i think it probably would be in the 49ers best interest to to cut jimmy but we know you know the shanahan and lynch they don't like to admit when they're wrong <laughs> And we've seen it in the past with, with Jared McKinnon staying on the roster for so many years. Um, you know, D Ford, obviously, but we know with D Ford, it's the money. It's cheaper, basically, to keep D Ford than to cut D Ford. Um, but this team has made some mistakes. But I think the 49ers, at the latest, they'll cut Jimmy maybe in August. But you got to wait because you never know. Maybe a quarterback, a starting quarterback gets hurt in training camp. Um, in the mini camp and then that team will need a quarterback and and that could be the option uh so i think that's why jimmy g i think unfortunately <laughs> the saga uh continues i think he will be with the 49ers up until training camp in august that's that's what i say um and if you're asking well why don't the 49ers cut jimmy g now well the reason is if he can't pass a physical 49ers with old Jimmy and injury settlement, which which would be 7.5 million. So at, basically, as soon as Jimmy G can pass a physical, 49ers should trade him or they could cut him. But I think they'll keep him until August and, and just wait it out because Jimmy G's salary is, you know, basically if he does, if he's not on the roster by week one, we don't owe 
him anything. I think it's like 1.4 million or something. But we don't owe him the entire 26 million dollars that he's scheduled to make this year. So Jimmy, he's going to be with this team until we can either trade him or cut him a week before the regular season. That's what I think.